Hi friends, welcome to Positive Power with your host Michelle Dion. Thank you for joining me for another week. So first of all, I have to start off by thanking you, a heartfelt thank you to everyone who got involved in the clothing drive um, on Sunday. Absolutely wonderful. This is not my thing. This is our thing. This is all of us coming together, all of us as a community. How heartwarming is that? We made some really positive ripples. We helped a lot of people in the community. Um, so, you know, I salute you today. My heart is absolutely full of love for how we can all come together. You know, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what you do for a living. We came together. We helped some regular people. We came together. We got some free stuff. Absolutely perfect. And those are all the good flow things, the positive things that we can do to help make the world a better place. You know, quite often we're relying on the government, other people, groups, corporations, organizations to do this stuff for us. It's not going to happen. We're going to be waiting a long time. So we need to, and we're doing it. So it's exciting. We're actually doing this. We're taking charge and we're making changes in the world by, you know, adding little splashes of kindness, doing things that are helping people lift people up, not bring them down. So that ties in with my topic today, actually. So, oh man, it is a pretty intense topic, actually, because it's something that everybody has been exposed to and we're all gu guilty of. You know, I heard something. I heard something. I heard something I want to share with you. Did you hear what she did? Did you hear about... I just, see, I don't even want to input a name. Gossip, my friends. That's what we're going to talk about today. The power, it is so powerful when we gossip, and it's also such a negative energy thing. Who's gossiped? Absolutely everybody. We do it right from little children, don't we? But it's a terrible thing on so many different levels. You know, you have so much power in your words, you do. And we talk about that in different things about how, you know, when you're doing positive affirmations or, <clears throat> excuse me, negative affirmations, call them affirmations, call them whatever you want. But the words you use are very powerful. So when you're talking about yourself, positive or negative, that's powerful. There's some energy there, you know, and, and maybe it's something that's not true, but it becomes true. You know, you call yourself stupid long enough, you're going to start acting stupid. So um, it's the same thing with gossip. You're turning around and you're spreading things about people. True or not true is actually one of the biggest parts of it. You know, quite often people start rumors about people, intentionally or not, and they're not even true. Do you remember when you were a kid growing up? I was in Brownies and Girl Guides and Pathfinders. Um, and one of the things we used to play as a kid, and we probably did it in school as well, is that we would um, play that game. It was called the telephone game back then because our telephones had cords, which is a novel idea. Um, so what you would do is one person would whisper a secret to the next person, to the next person, to the next person. So you go around this whole big circle, and by the end, it's a completely different story. Gossip works exactly the same way. So by the time I get a story, it might not even be true. It could have started as, you know, the one person tripped. And then by the time it gets to me, oh, they caused an accident. Maybe three people died. There was a dog involved. So, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows, right? Because people... At, well, we're human. You know, if you ask police officers about people who actually see events, how different their recollection of it is. So then you have a group of people that are gossiping, and of course they're not going to keep the key information. Of course there's going to be a twist to it. And at the end of the day, what somebody else is doing in their life, this is not a big surprise to you. I know you already know this. It's really none of your business. So when somebody comes to you with gossip, First of all, quite often you feel like it sucks the life right out of you. It makes you very tired because it's a negative, draining activity. But it all starts or stops with you. Are you going to repeat that? Are you going to be part of that? Are you going to be part of possibly damaging somebody's reputation? Or even if it's nothing that serious. You know, oh, you see so many people share different things online where they're laughing at people and people don't know they're being laughed at. Um... Different things where, which is a form of bullying, I don't mind telling you. Um, so, you know, when you're gossiping and you're, you're rallying together and spreading information that isn't true, first of all, it is not becoming for you. You know, we know those people that spread a lot of gossip, and I hope you realize 
when you are interacting with somebody who's gossiping about everybody else, don't be fooled to think they're not gossiping about you too, because they are. They absolutely are. And so you need to address that and realize, <clears throat> you know, if I'm participating in that, people are going to look at me. They're going to look at me and maybe with a little bit less respect. Maybe they're going to question my reputation. If I'm gossipy, am I also a fake person? Am I also somebody who, you know, would throw somebody under the bus just to have a good conversation or to have a laugh? Right? You know, that stuff is very damaging. We live in this world where we're getting more educated about depression and alienation and loneliness. And, and with social media, we can really be vicious people. And people are very brave at a keyboard. We know this to be true. So I'm just asking you for yourself, because you'll feel better for it. Don't get involved in the gossip. And if you don't participate, people will stop bringing it to you. That's absolutely the way it works. And it's the same with drama. People come and they like to dump their drama because they feel good. They feel better after they dump it on you. But if you refuse to participate, you don't have to be rude. Change the subject. Get busy. Take a call. <laughs> you know, or just say, you know what? I just, I don't do drama. I tell people all the time, I'm a no drama mama. And I'm not getting involved in that. And I can't get involved in gossip either. You know, what you do with your life is your business. It's none of my business. I'm just going with the flow. I'm beaten by my own drum, doing my own thing. And that's what you need to do. And it, if it doesn't affect anybody else, no need to know. So there you go. So don't get involved in the negative stuff that brings you down. The negative stuff that brings you tired. Brings you tired. Makes you tired. Let's try that. Anyways, have a great week. Look after yourself. And you know, just doing these little tweaks in your life are going to make you feel better. They're going to make you have a clearer head and not be weighed down. You know, life's tough enough without worrying about everybody else's business. Just worry about your own. Take care, friends. Look after yourself. And don't forget how absolutely awesome you are.